So what are we going to be trying to do here? We're taking this old laptop. Uh, this was my aunt and uncle's old laptop they don't want anymore, so they gave it to me. And it has a 1 gigahertz Celeron, 1 gig of RAM, and a 65 gigabyte hard drive. So it's not exactly the highest powered machine. So it probably doesn't need all this cooling. But this is the thing. I'm doing it with this crappy hardware because if I break it, it's crappy hardware. I'm not worried about breaking this. And then we're going to be using this air cooler, which has a, a, a heat plate. Or this is called the heat plate, the heat pipe, the... The hot plate, I get No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what it's called. And then the three the three heat pipes going up to a fan array, and then a little fan. So we'll be using this guy to try to cool it off. And I don't have thermal paste, um, and I just thought this might be a fun idea. We're gonna use toothpaste. Uh, this is just clean mint toothpaste, like it's just plain toothpaste. I'm hoping, um, I'm kind of interested actually, this might actually work out alright. I've read online that this can actually work, so I think it should work out okay. We're only going to be using it for a little while. I think, I wouldn't recommend this for a long term use, but I think it might work in a pinch for what we're doing. So the plan is to run Ida64, which is a, a program that will really load the CPU a lot, and then we'll also be able to see our temperatures and uh, whether or not we're thermal throttling. I don't think we'll be thermal throttling uh, because this laptop seems to have alright cooling, although it's kind of loud. Uh, but we're going to run it first with the stock cooling on the laptop, and then we're going to see what temperature we get to, if we thermal throttle or not. And then we're going to run it again um, with, with the bigger cooler and see how much of a difference we get. My original plan was to try to water cool it, make a little water block, and then running some tube to it and stuff. Uh, I wanted to do that, I still want to do that, but it was kind of a lot of stuff to get together and I didn't have enough time to do it. Maybe in the future if you guys like this, we can try doing the water cooling. And if I don't break this laptop in the process of doing this. Alright, let's get started. Sorry the display is kind of weird. It's This computer seems to be stuck at like the lowest brightness, so there's that. Anyway. We have a, it's a mobile Intel Celeron 530, so it's a 1.7 gigahertz uh, single core Celeron, so it's not the fastest processor, but we are going to run the, run the sort of benchmarks on it. Stability test, that's what it is. Alright, so the test has been running for about 14 minutes now, and you can see we've pretty much stopped at the CPU core 1 at 60 degrees, and the CPU just packaged at 55. So that's actually not too bad. So as of now, the cooling inside the laptop is pretty good. And to be honest, it's not that loud either. Um, so we're pretty much just doing this for fun at this point. <laughs> I don't think there's gonna be that much of an improvement. But yeah, that's that's where we're at with that. One more quick thing I should probably mention. Um, we're idling around between 53 and 54 degrees. All right, so now we have our baselines. Uh, let's tear into this guy, see what kind of cooling we have, and uh, get started. Take a second and show you guys what cooler it has right now built in. So it has this little blower style cooler um, that blows on these small set of fins right here. And then there's a heat pipe that goes around and goes to the CPU over here. That's basically the cooler right now. Aha, finally, so here we have it. I don't know what this is. This is some other, um, processing unit. Here's the CPU, here's the heat pipe, here's this little tiny fin array, and here's the fan that was there. That's what was cooling this down. So that isn't very much cooling. I think that our cooler in comparison 
which is right here. Oh, that's gonna get us a lot cooler. So I'm kind of excited for this. See if we can get this to work again. I'm taking this laptop apart so far just to get to this point that I don't know if we'll be able to put it back together and get it working. But we're gonna try. bit of toothpaste on our processor now. <laughs> I didn't think I'd ever say that. Here we go. It should it should power on if I did this right. The light turned on. Yes! <laughs> the screen is on. I don't know if you can see that. It's booting into Windows. <laughs> awesome. A, our CPU is at 32 degrees. All right, let's start the, the thing. Now, I don't have the fan on for the processor right now, but that is because um, I don't have any way to power it. So I'm gonna figure that out next. All right, so now behind me on the desk, you can't see it. Um, we're running the test with the Jerry Rig CPU cooler on there. It's quite a bit larger and I don't have a way to mount it. So I just kind of have it set on top of there. So the CPU cooler is set on top of there. I have a fan blowing on it because I couldn't hook up the actual fan because there are no fan headers. And we're using toothpaste as our thermal paste. So <laughs> I don't know if this is the best case scenario, but it's working and that's and the thing is it's working well. With the stock cooler, the cooler that was bolted to the laptop, we we're between 53 and 54 degrees uh, Celsius idling. And we were about 60 after we had run 60 degrees Celsius on the CPU after we had run it for 14 minutes at full tilt uh, with Ida 64. We were idling uh, at 29 degrees Celsius uh, with without anything running, so just idling. We we're running at 29 degrees Celsius with a big cooler on there. And right now, let me go check. We've been running for 12 minutes, and we're between 43 and 44 degrees Celsius. So even though this cooler has all those things, it doesn't have a proper fan, we don't have a real thermal paste, all this kind of stuff, we're still getting better temperatures. That just shows you that a bigger cooler is just better. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit, um, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Why would you ever do this? I don't know. I wanted to do it. I thought it'd be kind of fun. Um, it was a lot of work. I basically had to tear the whole laptop apart to do this. The laptop is just kind of sitting in pieces. Uh, so it was kind of a kind of a hassle, but it's working now. That's pretty much what we did. I cooled down a laptop more. I got to take it apart. I got to see if I could put my own cooler on there, if I could cool it. Um, so if you enjoyed it, you can hit like. If you disliked it, you know, you can you can you can dislike also, I guess. Uh, I'd like to know why you disliked it. So if you want to let me know below why you disliked it, you can let me know. And if you really like the video, you can subscribe. You can you can be cool like that and subscribe. Uh, we recently hit well, we hit 200 two weeks ago, and we're already almost at 250 subscribers. So thanks to you guys, that's cool. And if you're a new subscriber, say hi. I'll say hi back. Um, yeah. All right. So I will catch you guys next time. I hope you liked it. And I'm out. And I'm out. I'll I'm out. And I'm out. I'm sorry. So just because I don't think I'll ever be using the system again, I don't really care about it that much. I'm gonna see if we can get it to thermal throttle. So it's running the test right now with the processor, or with the cooler on there. We're at 43 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna turn off the fan and remove the cooler. What's it gonna do? Whoa, 82 degrees Celsius, real fast. Oh, are we gonna see throttle, 93? 
It's really hot. I don't think we're, we're not throttling yet, but we will start to very soon at this rate. Oh yeah, we're throttling, we're throttling, okay. Oh, 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 the computer's dying, no, unplug. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. I just saw the just screen like going dim. Oh, okay, I unplugged it before it could. Ah, oh, that was a bad idea, okay.